This is CBSC and CRE Solutions, Chapter 8, Trigonometric Ratios, Exercise 8.1, Question number 9. The question is in triangle ABC, which is right angled at B. If, if tangent of A is 1 divided by square root of 3, then find the value of this and this. So we have two parts in this, so we will do one by one. So we can start this from tangent of A is equal to 1 by square root of 3. And we know that tangent of tangent is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. So opposite side to angle A is BC and adjacent side to angle A is AB. So we have BC divided by AB is equal to 1 by square root of 3. So BC divided by AB is equal to 1 by square root of 3. So from here on we can suppose that let length of BC BC is equal to K units and let let's say K units here and let length of AB square root of 3 units square root of 3 K units from here on we can find the values of sin A, cos C, cos A and sin C. But before that we need to find the value of AC. So by using Pythagoras theorem we can find value of AC. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square by using Pythagoras theorem. And putting the values of AB here, AB is square root of 3, K square and BC is just K, so K square here. So I get here 3k square plus k square is equal to 4k square. So from here I can say that AC is equal to 2k. So, so now I can find values of sine A and cos C and cos A, cos C, sine A and sine of C. So we know that sine of any angle is is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. So opposite side to angle A is BC and hypotenuse is AC. So I'll write BC divided by AC. So sine of A would be equal to BC divided by AC and we know that BC is equal to K and AC is equal to K. So I get 1 by 2. Similarly cos of A is equal to cos is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse and adjacent side to angle A is AB and hypotenuse is AC. And we know that AB is equal to square root of 3K and AC is 2K. So I get here square root of 3 divided by 2. Now I can find value of cos of C. Similarly, we know that cos of uh, any angle is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. So opposite side, adjacent side to angle C is BC and hypotenuse is AC. So I, I would write BC divided by AC. And it is equal to 1 divided by 2. And the last one is sine C is equal to sine of any angle is opposite side divided by hypotenuse and opposite side to angle C is AB and hypotenuse is AC so I will write AB divided by AC and AB divided by AC is square root of 3 divided by 2 as we just found here now we just need to put the values the first one is sine A cos C. The first one we need to find is sin A cos C plus cos A sin C and we have the values here sin of A is 1 by 2 and cos of C is 1 by 2 again and plus and cosine of A is uh, the value of cos A is again under root 3 by 2 because this is AB divided by AC, we just found it. AB divided by AC is square root of 3 divided by 2. Because AB is 
the value of AB is scale of 3k and AC is 2. So I will write it under 3 by 2 times sine of C is scale root of 3 divided by 2. So it's 1 by 4 plus 3 divided by 4 is equal to 4 divided by 4 equal to 1. Similarly, we can solve the second part. Second part is cosine of A cosine of C minus sine of A sine of C. So I can just put in the values. So it's scale root of 3 divided by 2 times 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 times scale root of 3 divided by 2 is equal to scale root of 3 divided by 4 minus scale root of 3 divided by 4 is equal to 0. So that's about the two parts of question number 9 and CRE solutions chapter number 8 trigonometric ratios exercise 8.1. In the next video I'll be covering question number 10 chapter number 8 exercise 8.1 trigonometric ratios. See you guys in the next video.